Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. style, especially when it comes to footwear. It's the birthplace of Salvatore Ferragamo and Gucci. And in a country shaped like a shoe, it all makes sense. Grazie. Now these shoes, they're not so much about style as they are about speed. Tomorrow morning is a Rome marathon, something I've always wanted to do. And today I figured I'd make some food that's good before the big race. Some carbs and some carbs and yeah, maybe some more carbs. Something Italians do really well. I love pasta. I could have it daily and then even a couple of times a day. To ease my conscience, I call this cold pasta dish a salad. Somehow it always makes me feel a lot less guilty. This recipe is called insalata di pasta con tonno or pasta salad with tuna. And this is the salad part of this recipe. I love putting rucola, and in Italy, rucola is very peppery. It gives a nice kick to this salad. I like to mix it with basil. Bocconcini are fresh little mozzarellas, which literally mean a mouthful. I can have a million of these and still uh, do about a 10K run. This salad is wonderful because you can prepare it in the morning, have it midday, go out for a run, come back, have more, go out. Gives you all the energy you need for a nice long run. Generous amount of extra virgin olive oil. This will bring all the flavors together. Let it sit there while your pasta is getting cooked. Mm. Really important with your pasta salad is to give your pasta a really good rinse with cold water. This will help stop the cooking process and keep the pasta al dente, nice and firm, so even when it sits in the fridge for a couple of hours, it will still have its shape. Just let it sit there for a while. And now the tuna. I'm gonna sear the tuna with a little bit of olive oil and get the frying pan very, very hot. Just sear the tuna for about 30, 40 seconds on each side. And when you're using a quality sushi grade tuna filet, you shouldn't want to cook it well done. It should be very pink in the middle. Now, if you can't come across sushi grade tuna, you can use canned tuna. It will give you a rough idea. Well, 
very rough idea of what this dish could taste like. You want to keep your tuna nice and pink in the middle so you don't want to cook it too much. And now, introduce your farfalla. Farfalla is a type of pasta here in Italy that's shaped like a bow tie. It means butterfly and it seems to be the perfect pasta for a salad dish as it traps in all the flavors and toss it well. and place your seared tuna right on top. And that's pasta con tonno all'insalata. A little snack before a light jog. Hey. Hi. Oh, nice to meet you. What are you guys doing here? Oh, bella vita. You guys hanging out. What are you doing? Ah, went for a quick jog. Tomorrow I have the Rome Marathon, so I'm getting in a quick run. Wow. The marathon. Uh, the marathon. Are you ready for it? Am I ready for it? Uh, yeah. Slowly. Yeah. You guys want to come for lunch? Anita? Yeah, I'm coming, yes. But yeah. what are we? Oh, no, thank no. you. We'd love to get no. you. No. Te. What are we eating? Well, this morning I had some carbs. For lunch, I'll have some more carbs, and then this evening, carbs. Carbs. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I don't need an excuse to eat carbs. No. no. <laughs> you never need an excuse to eat carbs. I'm coming. Good, Thank okay. You. Hello, we'll see you in a bit. Yes. Ciao. See you later. That's it. Yeah. Run, Dave. Run, eh? Run. <laughs> Steffi, I have a great idea. Yeah. Tomorrow, I'm leaving at 6 a.m. Do you want to come with me to the train station, you know, cheer me on? Yeah, I will be there. Can we do five, please? Five. Yes. <laughs> ah, Steffi. Puoi schiacciare un po' di noce? Grazie. That's for you, huh? I love the Italians' creative instinct in making dishes their own. From region to region or town to town, there will always be slight variations and often heated debates as to which dish is better. This version of spaghetti alla puttanesca is not very common. My grandmother was notorious for creating offshoots of classic Neapolitan dishes. This version is called Nonna Maria's spaghetti alla puttanesca con le noce with walnuts. Okay, so schiacci un po'. Mm -hmm. Very simple. So, Steph, you want to come tomorrow to Rome? There'll be lots of sweaty men. What am I supposed to do with sweaty men? I don't know what you're supposed to do with sweaty men. I'm just telling you. How many? About 40,000. Mm. Is that enough? I mean, yeah, good number. I love sweaty men. Yeah. <laughs> this is a simple sauce that, while the water is boiling and your spaghetti is being cooked, you can actually make your puttanesca sauce. The star of a puttanesca sauce is anchovies. How's that going? Tutto mm. okay? Mmm. Mettiamo soltanto due. We'll only put two or three. You have to be very careful with this sauce because if you add too much salt, it can be not very good. And next, capers. These are also kind of salty, so be very careful not to put too much salt into your sauce. Do you like uh, capri? Yeah, I love capri. No, not the island capri. I capri. Capri. <laughs> capri. Some pitted olives will just scatch it. A questo, Steffi, we're just going to put everything together. Una bella salsetta. Bello. Bello. Molto italiano. <laughs> Molto italiano. Steffi, Steffi. Mmm, <laughs> nice Good and enough. fresh, you mm -hmm. see? How many do you need? About ten, or as many as you'd like. Okay. Lastly, I'm going to get some peeled plum tomatoes. Okay. Va bene. Steffi? Yes? How hungry are you? I'm starving, Dave. I thought you'd say that. Yes, I am, in fact. And now, start your sauce.
couple of cloves of garlic, some peperoncino. A good stir. Next, bring all the other ingredients, the anchovies, the capers, the olives, into the pan. Good mix. Let the anchovies dissolve. When I was younger, I never used to like anchovies. Ugh. But in this dish, because it dissolved, it actually just gave an awesome flavor. Okay, Steffi, how's it going here? Tutto okay. bene? Allora. Do we have any more walnuts or mangia. did you eat them all? Si mangia. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> You're too strong. Oh. Okay. okay. De noche. De noche. Okay. Very good. We're going to mix this all together. Mm, looks good. Mm, looks good. <laughs> Lastly, your peeled tomatoes. Now, you can use puree tomato. Anything works. I like to use big peeled tomatoes because then I get my knife and just cut them up so you see big chunks of tomato. Gives it a nice fresh look and feel. Lastly, just a little touch of salt, just un poco, because all your ingredients are very salty. Just gonna let that simmer and your spaghetti is gonna get cooked, and then we'll mix it all in. Done, fatto. So finish cooking your spaghetti and your puttanesca sauce. Steffi. Yes, Dave. Can you do me a favor? Yes. Can you cut some parsley and clean up the table? Okay. <laughs> uh, you weren't going to get a free ride here. <laughs> Steffi, can you put a little bit of parsley on top? Yep. That's it. Bene. Sí. Allora. Mm. Mm. Looks great. Allora, Steffi. Yes. What do you think of my uh, new shoes? Wow, they they are wonderful. Do you think you you're gonna win with them? No, I don't think I'm gonna win with these shoes, but but at least my shoes will look good. <laughs> yeah, great. Very important here. Everybody in look at the feet. Vai via mangi dai. David Rocco shoes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, no, I don't need a lift, my friend. <laughs> Just come back from the hairdresser. My dad will hit the mossy. Running's gonna kill me. How about all the cigarettes you have? That's gonna kill you. Sure, we'll have dinner. Come over to my place around six. And don't smoke too much. Okay, No, no, I won't run too much. Ciao. Ciao. There are three main types of rice in Italy. The first, Arborio, which is the most famous, especially for Italian risottos, and that comes from the small village of Arborio. The second is Baldo, famous in the north of Italy, and it's also used for risottos as well as rice salads. The third is Carnaroli, and Italian chefs rave about this rice as the best for risottos. It costs a lot more than the other rice, and uh, that's because it's harder to grow and a lot less is produced. Then there's another type of rice called Violano Nano, which is grown just outside Venice, and Venetians swear that that is the ultimate for risottos. And Nano means dwarf, and that's a lot smaller than the Carnaroli rice or the Arborio. Senti Giovanni, posso avere un metà chilo di Arborio? Sì. Grazie. 
Grazie Giovanni. Ciao. A dopo, ciao. ciao. Although I enjoy eating risotto, I prefer someone else making it. I mean, it's a lot of work being near the stove, constantly adding in your broth, stirring it. You know, that whole risotto thing, è una fatiga. That's why I love this recipe. It's fast, simple, and the rice comes out nice and velvety and creamy, just like an awesome risotto. I call this dish Zia Ursula's spinach risotto. This version of risotto I'll be preparing with arborio rice. Rocco. Oh, ciccio bello. Oh, Rocco. Come stai? Bene. Che si mangia? Eh. Eh. Grazie. You can start off with some vino, some noce. Un aperitivo, ok. Grazie. Allora, hai fame? Molto. Che prepari? Un bel risotto. Fabulous risotto. Con i funghi? No, no, no funghi. La genovese? Ecco le spinace. Mm, preferivo con i funghi. No, with this, <laughs> spinace makes the dish nice and light. This is a simple recipe. Now, frozen spinach. You can use fresh, but you know, troppo fatigue. Too much yeah. work, you have to wash it, cook it. No, simple. Riso is the Italian word for rice, and risotto is the slow process of extracting all the starch from the rice. The first time I came across this recipe was about a few years ago in Rome. Nina and I went to go visit our friend Ursula. Now, she's not really my zia, but whenever I call her zia, she seems to be more available to giving me her recipes. So thanks to Zia Ursula, I've come across this fabulous and simple risotto. Now, if you find your spinach is drying up, add a little bit of water. By adding a little extra water in your spinach will really help you puree it really well and give it that nice creamy texture. Just before the rice is totally cooked, bring it over to the sink and remove about half the water. Just the water. Now this is a really good tip. The rest of the water has a lot of starch and this is what's gonna make the rice very creamy, like a risotto. Mix in your spinach. And the excess water is going to help amalgamate everything and finish cooking the rice. Massimo, can you give me some ricotta and un po' di grana padano? <laughs> Important message. Eh, lo sai. And now just a little bit of fresh ricotta, a couple of spoonfuls. Fold that in. Lastly, a little bit of freshly grated grana padano. And always grate your cheese at the very end. Fatto, all done. Fatto, fatto. Always on this phone. Ma what's with you guys? Che vuoi, la vita amorosa è dura. Ah, your love life is complicated. You make it complicated. <laughs> Finally. Lo mangi tutto? No, no. One's mine, one's yours. Eccoci. No, you gotta do more running. And don't worry about your appointment. <laughs> Ottimo. Complimenti. <laughs> Thank you.
change.